There's always something new happening in Hollywood, so we'll ask Joey what's up in entertainment <laughs> news. What's up, Joey's back? Yeah, so even when I'm not here, I still always have an ear to the ground for stage, screen, TV. So there's a couple projects coming, and, and I thought, you know, I love our network, but not everything is on our network, so there are a couple things. There's an Elvis documentary that HBO is releasing this month, and it is a, um, a two-night presentation. It'll be about three hours. Graceland has opened up their vaults for this oh, project, wow. and so That's all of their audio and visual archives of, from Elvis's estate are now part of this project, including there's some old footage of Elvis um, of his mother singing gospel. Really? So it really starts from his childhood and takes him all the way through. The filmmakers said they want to focus as much on the second half of his career, which a lot of times gets kind of laughed at, and actually show the seriousness of it. So um, Priscilla Presley is very much involved and Elvis's longtime friend, uh, Jerry Schilling. So um, it, it's gonna have all this information that we haven't seen before. And interesting, when they made the film, they did not use a camera for any of the interviews, so all of the interviews were done with audio. So it's all footage. It's actual footage oh, of Elvis wow. that, you, that it's going to tell the story. Oh. And um, Priscilla Presley has said in some interviews before this has been released that it's very it was very difficult to watch the end of his life because she's bet. reliving it. Right. Oh, she right. talks about hiding pills from him. I was going to say it wasn't pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heartbreaking. So this will be this will premiere on HBO April 14th at 8 p.m. Oh, so it's it's very uh, soon. two films three hours. Yeah. Okay. So a little happier, but another celebration of an artist that is gone is Donna Summer. So all right, you know that the big trend was take someone's music and turn it into a Broadway musical. Mm -hmm. So they have done Summer, the Donna Summer musical. <laughs> it started previews last week in New York. <laughs> and it is opening on Broadway uh, April 23rd. They did this show at the La Jolla Playhouse. Um, and so it's already been, you know, had tryouts out of town. It'll follow Donna's life and they have three different actresses playing her. So there's disco, Disco Donna, Disco Donna, Diva Donna, and <laughs> Duck Donna. Oh, which I'm, wow. It's, so it's three actresses to take her. Interesting choice. Predominantly female cast, even playing the male figures in her life. Really? And they said they wanted to kind of stick with Donna Summer's theme of female empowerment. So it's all of the great music that you loved, um, you know, uh, Love to Love You Baby, Hot Stuff, Bad Girls, right. kind of telling her story. It's a memory piece. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it could go, it could go the Mamma Mia route where everyone's going to love it and it's right. still good music, or it could go, there were some of these jukebox musicals didn't do so well. Right. right. So fingers crossed that this is going to be a hit. So the next one, Linda, I thought of you, Diane Cannon, you know, the famous blonde actress. Everybody says that. Yes. <laughs> well, she wrote a book a few years ago about her relationship with Cary Grant. They were married for about three years hmm. in the 60s, and he was 61 and she was 27. That's why I thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> but so the book has already been out. And it talks a lot about when they used, they actually did LSD together. Oh, they, how lovely. They tell stories about this. So she has turned her life, this book, into a musical. So I'm a little hesitant, but she says that it is all completed except for one song. She's planning on being in it, and um, she's got her sights set on Broadway. So I don't know quite how it'll work, but she does say, obviously, Cary Grant is going to factor very, very largely in okay, the project. Okay, if that was him at 61 and her at 27, I'd have married him, too. Uh, I, think those, yeah. no, I think those pictures were, were filed from... I, I was going to say, I don't know if that was 61, no, but... No, no, because he... Wow. Was, yes, but an interesting choice, married for three years. But she's, Do we like a Broadway about everybody? I don't know. I know. It's, it's and, you know, she did, and she did suffer a nervous <laughs> breakdown um, in her life and was very public about it. So I, I don't know if that will factor into a musical. It may, ha it may stay better as a book. Yeah, uh, but we'll you know what? Linda's always saying, movie. why do we keep reviving? We need new ones. It's so there's true. a lot of new coming out. And I think there's a lot of interest in Cary Grant's life. I mean, right. you know, there were rumors oh, yeah. about his bisexuality and then what the pressure of being a star. So we'll see how that works into a big Broadway musical. And lastly, if you have not watched Handmaid's Tale on Hulu, which Just is... Just started it! Okay, so the second season's about to come out. Right. Um, they will release it on Hulu April 25th. Give me a synopsis, because you've said we yes. have to see it so many so times. So it is set in a, uh, a, a future where women's rights have been completely stripped from them. Yes, and they have now been suffered, made to suffer as servants in silence in the homes of master families. Ew. So, um, uh, and I don't want to do any more spoilers, but you All have right. time to catch up. A lot of the same cast is going to return, but in the second season, it's going to be 13 episodes instead of 10. Um, 
Bradley Whitford, who was on uh, West Wing and Get Out, Cherry Jones, Marissa Tomei, they're all joining this cast. So you have time to binge this. A lot of talk on this. You need to binge this. Okay. I, I can't say enough about it. Great, great show. Yeah. All right, we're binge watching Handmaid's Tale this weekend. <laughs> all right, thanks for the update. Lots mm -hmm. of good info. And coming up next, fashion from all over the world with Red Hot Paris.